There have already been calculations by politicians that the temperature of the planet will increase by 700 degrees Celsius per year. Not true. The theory that the Earth is on fire is still going strong, however. For in the last climate summit, zero carbon emissions were set for 2050. We are already paying for the energy transition. The question is whether it will be get more expensive. Today I'm checking, says editor Holdinska. In such outrageous ways, such as destroying works of art and disrupting concerts at the Philharmonic, activists want to demonstrate their opposition to the extraction of fossil fuels. But why? The burning planet theory also has its supporters among politicians. Look at what's happening in the Arctic. The planet is burning. Soon we'll be fighting over water. The planet will die. We can't allow the planet to burn. These statements by Minister Chaskovsky show that this man isn't simply a politician. It shows that he's an out-of-control ideologue in terms of general national questions and in terms of the urban agenda. Of course, when you look out of the window, you don't see fire. You don't see neighborhoods on fire. Lucifer. That's the name given to the hellish heat wave that hit Europe this summer. Sicily recorded 48.8 degrees Celsius. This is the highest temperature ever recorded on our continent. Not only the European Union, but also global elites want to fight the climate crisis. The weapons are to be, among other things, taxes. The fact is that saying we will, for the first time in history, uh, transition away from fossil fuel in a just and orderly, equitable manner, uh, so as to, and also accelerating in this decade, which is a very important benchmark phrase therein, and, and in accordance with the science. And now is the time for all stakeholders, state and non-state actors, to step up. All parties who signed the UAE consensus must work on enhancing their nationally determined contributions ahead of the next cycle in 2025. In fact, this work must... And right now, activists would like to stop air and car traffic because exhaust fumes pollute the environment. It's best not to burn coal from mines and not use plastic. Only that the cost of the energy transition will be borne by all of us. The expectations of the extreme left eco-activists are so radical that entire economies and societies in general cannot keep up. How much the electricity price rises may burden poles in the second half of this year is evidenced by information from the head of the Ministry of Climate and Environment that currently one household saves 500 zwoty on electricity thanks to the electricity price freeze under the Law and Justice Government. Those in power give assurances that they are aware of the costs but are they themselves ready to bear them? Of course I have a company car, but they also take public transport and walk. Why do you drive a Volkswagen rather than an electric car? I live in an apartment building and I don't have a charger at the building. It's simple. The government cannot afford chargers closer to home for now. There will be changes. In certain areas, investments will be necessary, and this, of course, will lead to additional costs. The only question is, will this ideology and politics not destroy our wallets? Editor Hordinska, Televizia Republica.